hey Google, do I really need a new... Okay, actually in the spirit of this whole iPhone unboxing, we're not going to ask Google like we usually do in our intros because I feel like that's just wrong. Right? Hey everyone, welcome back to Bayo Meets World and in today's video we are going to be unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Max? Pro? Pro Max? Pro Max. Oof. She bought a phone she can't even say. <laughs> this is why I'm not mad at myself that I started backing up my iPhone late and it said 40 minutes because it's probably going to take me 40 minutes to do this entire intro. So I just came home from work and saw that my phone came in and I'm so excited to unbox it. Of course, I just have to set up. So excuse the post work glow. We're kind of sporting today because <laughs> I don't want to do my makeup today. So I just put some gloss on and we're good. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And please tell me I'm saying that. Yes, Pro Max. I got it in gold. I actually ordered it the same day that pre-orders started and I think that I ordered if you're in Sprint like I am I ordered it and just did it on the app it was much much faster and I actually didn't like the terms that I was on in my last one because I was leasing it and I could upgrade every 18 every 18 months and I didn't even know that so I could have upgraded a few months ago in which I was just paying for nothing and they're like oh you have to pay more just to keep your phone and I'm like no we going upgrade and this one I'm gonna keep for a while because that upgrade deal was expensive. So I guess we shall do the very satisfying unboxing. I wish I had a, like I wish I had a microphone for this. Okay, okay. I mean this is not the satisfying part. I don't think I think it's the actual phone, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. not as satisfying as like the actual phone but the feel of the box is about the same and of course there's just slight elevation where the iphone is between the, uh, in between this area and when you open it i really don't want to drop this phone when i do this um this is what it looks like and it looks i don't know if you can see oh ooh, excuse the baby nails um, so it looks matte just because the protector is still, the clear protector's on it. Ooh, that's such a satisfying sound. I guess this is an unboxing ASMR. But... I'm gonna take the phone out now, gently, not trying to drop her now. Oh, oh, oh the cases came out. That wasn't the smartest idea. So it comes with the instructions I'm guessing instructions what what instructions would there be okay so let's put the phone down let's put it down oh, honestly I don't want to go through this I just want to open the phone so the box or this compartment comes with the pin that you actually use to comes with the pin that you use to open the sim card area of your phone I guess there is some instructions or like I think it's like a disclaimer in all honesty and the sticker. I, I never is this just me or I never actually use this sticker. I want to. And I'm pretty sure I still have the box of all my phones with the stickers. I just don't know where to put them. I wonder. Does that look good? As it as if it wasn't clear enough that you got an Apple phone, I mean. Go figure. So it comes with the charger that is the USB-C port, but it doesn't actually come with the block itself. So I was watching a few other YouTubers who got the phone early and they recommended Anchor. I bought mine from Amazon, which is going to come actually later because they're sold out. But it was only $16.99. bought it from Amazon because it was way cheaper, which is shocking because Amazon is usually not that much cheaper. In fact, it's usually more expensive for the convenience, but that's why it's there so that one will be coming later i don't have a block maybe i'll take my mom's because she has the iphone 11. so as for the phone let's get to the phone the screen actually is kind of protected by this white paper and it on the sides it kind of shows what the purposes of the side buttons are it's just pretty simple if you've already had an iphone you already know what it does it's going to be the bell up and down volume 
the power button. I guess this is gonna be like iPhone for dummies because I'm just like walking through everything. So this is where you put the SIM card. And you use the pin that I showed you a while ago to open it up. Okay, let us do this. Are we ready? Are we ready? Ooh. I know you might not be able to hear it, but it's, it looked good. It looked satisfying. So there's also a back part. Wait. Wait, what? I'm a dumb dumb. For all of, like the iPhone videos that I watched, I didn't even know, I didn't pay attention to this. So the back part is actually supposed to be matte. And the part where it's elevated, it kind of looks like plastic. I think it's like more durable than regular plastic, but it's actually just this clear acrylic looking material for the camera. Um, but I do, ooh, I got a fingerprint on the apple. But the rest is just matte. Can you hear it? And oh, it's just sleek fit feel. So this is my iPhone 10 Pro Max and the size difference. I guess I should take it off the case. Sorry, that was just a quick break because we had to charge the battery. I only have one and I haven't been filming so that means I haven't been charging. So back to now it's time to compare the old phone to the new phone. My old phone is the iPhone 10 or iPhone XS Max. And with this new one, uh, it's slightly tall. Okay, let me, that's not fair because the cameras are against each other. Let's put the front, lighten it up like cards. It's slightly, slightly, ever so slightly longer, but it feels like it's just as wide because you can't really see see the edges too much. I mean, I guess it is just because of, no, you actually feel, it feels like it's larger just because of the edges being square, but I feel like it's just as wide as each other. I decided to choose the tw iPhone 12 Pro Max just because this kind of doubles as my TV. I don't really want to have a TV in my room, so I use this to watch. I use this most of the time, probably more than my, um, my laptop just because it's just easier it's quicker I already have it on and I already I put back the oh the first thing it says is oh we love an international queen so yeah so it's basically back to just resetting the factory settings and let me do that and I'll be right back so yeah it's starting off with the regular factory questions that you're starting off at the beginning of your iPhone because I'm still backing up my old iPhone and it's taking quite a long time and I even had to upgrade the iCloud to a larger gig so I had to pay like $2.99 because I do have a lot on this phone. I really should organize what's here and consolidate it a few days ago but it's been a week so we didn't do that. Um, for those wondering this um, I'm trying did I say square? Oh my gosh. This triangle behind my phone it's called BioZen and it actually absorbs the radiation that comes out of your phone. Um, everyone in my family has it all our um, electronics have it and I highly recommend it. So while we let the iPhone XS Max do its thing and back up, we're actually going to go to the accessories that I already got for my phone. I got the accessories as soon as I knew I was getting the phone because I didn't want to have my phone unprotected for a few days. That is just freaky. That's a lot of, it's a lot of trust in a few days that you're not going to drop it, especially when you know it's going to be a new phone. And I feel like my grippage is not formed to the phone so it's going to be a little bit more different so this is the i got this on amazon and i believe this was actually i don't think this was very expensive there comes in three it's a three pack uh probably less most likely less than 20 i'm like even banking on probably less than 10. um this is what i actually have in my old phone and if you see there's some cracking at the sides but it's because i was really really there was a period of time where I just kept dropping this phone to the point where my otter case just started giving up. But that was about probably 20 months into having my phone. It's been almost two years since I've had this. And I would say it really did it justice and it was just as good. The only one I thought about getting that's a little bit different from this case is the one that protects from blue light. But it was, it was pricey and I didn't, I don't know if I wanted to I don't know, splurge on that, 
even if it could last a long time and I know blue light's not the best for skin or for your eyes but I do have blue light glasses so at least my eyes are protected sorry I'm rambling let's back to the accessories so I got the case spade case and it's the one that's kind of gradient it goes from pink purple to blue and I already opened this one just to try it out and I don't know how it's beautiful and it seems protective like it would be protective however I didn't notice that there's no bottom and mind you the one the other case that I had this is uh, similar consist like similar feeling to the iPhone cases but it doesn't have the bottom as well and although I did I do trust this even if there was with um, there wasn't any here I just want I don't know I've, because the, my first case for this phone was an otter box and it was the clear one I dropped it several times, but I didn't. I never really freaked about my phone because I knew it was always protected. Towards the end, I knew I was going to upgrade, and so I just didn't want to splurge for anything super expensive. And this was about ten bucks, so I was okay with not having the protector right here. But I want to keep this phone for a while, so I think I actually want to splurge for something that has like this bottom part right here. And I already did. I bought the Otter Box case, and it's clear. And it has some very fine gold detailing which i think will complement my phone really well since it's gold but it's not here yet so we're gonna have to deal with this one for now so back to regular scheduled brightness so this is the case just putting it in popping it in Ooh, that popped up i like hmm, i feel like the gold the silver would have been better with this case just because i don't know if you can see the gold just doesn't I mean it's fine but I think the silver would have definitely complemented this case better but I don't even think I want to keep it so that's not the biggest problem so it fits very well and I'm just gonna put this this takes a lot of concentration let's do this off screen okay so right now I'm trying to transfer everything onto my phone and it's been having troubles backing up. I don't know if it's too much, but I mean, I did kind of upgrade for the, I think the 500 gigabyte one, or is it, no, 200 gigabytes of iCloud memory. But it said if I hold it close to the last iPhone and it's iOS 11 and above, that it should just update itself. Like, what? Like, okay, we, well, okay, let me put this aside. Let's see. As you can tell, like, I'm trying to do both but this one wasn't working there's not enough storage in here it's a pretty old one and i, I cleaned it out sometimes but it still says that it's holding a lot of memory and i don't know what to do about it and this one's saying that i just attach it so i put it together Unlock. this is just kind of funny i'm just like flipping phones let's see how this goes so right now it has a pattern here and it says hold it above the pattern it's the same thing that you kind of do with your with your apple watch that you do in the beginning where you have to scan it onto your phone it's just like that one now it says enter the passcode of your other iphone which is the older iphone transfer data from your phone yes please so, so this is what i'm looking at just oh, oh <laughs> i don't know if you can see this is the loading screen on both and just the waiting and the waiting and the waiting. Speed this part up. All I'm doing is waiting, but this is cool. Okay, so now terms and conditions actually showed up on this. Have I just been under a rock and this has actually been a thing for a while? Because I didn't know. I'm intrigued. So now I have to put in the password for my Apple ID. And while the old phone still has the turny turny thing. Wow, my boat cab is great today, guys. Okay, so now enter the passcode for the other iPhone again. Did I get my password wrong? I don't think so, I just used it. Settings from your other iPhone. Yes. Keep your iPhone up to date. Sure. So basically it's just up, um, installing the updates. This seems really tedious. Sorry, guys. I'm just waiting. So Apple Pay, yes, please do. 
Okay, so I don't want to... Oh, so I have to redo the Apple Pay again. Like, it doesn't just transfer over, which is actually pretty good. Uh, I don't usually do the iPhone analytics part just because I don't want to send a bunch of my information to them. I don't know. Maybe it's just like an internal thing, but I usually say don't share on that one. Sorry, Apple. Actually, sorry, not sorry. Now we're back to the loading screens. Cute elevator music if there's already not music in the background. So guys, while we're waiting, how about, let me ask you, how was your day? Um, how are you guys doing COVID? And comment down below what phone you guys have and if you're team Apple or team Android. So I actually ran into really big technical difficulties because my SIM card wouldn't configure to the new phone no matter what we did and I was on the phone with Sprint for the longest time but they were so patient with me and we ended up transferring um, my SIM from the new one from the old one to the new one, the one that the phone comes with, and it turned out okay. Honestly, I would highly recommend Sprint Chat Support, and they stuck with me through the entire thing, so that's why I didn't really get to film an ending to this. But currently, I am liking the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's not so different from my 10X or the XS Max, in my opinion, but of course, it is clear. Camera is so much better, and I think that's one of the biggest thing with this phone is the camera and maybe i'll do an update on this so that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this and hopefully you learned something i know i was babbling on and on in this video but thank you for staying this long i hope you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more bye